an opaque jar. Now, opaque just means you can't see through the jar. You can't see the insides. But you know that inside there are marbles of different colors. There's five red ones, four blue ones, and seven green ones. You, when you reach inside the jar, uh, you can feel the marbles, but you can't feel the colors. They're, they're, they're identical in shape and feel. And so the idea is that you take the jar, it's stirred around so you don't know what the, the contents, you, do, you know what the numbers are. You reach inside and you pull out two marbles. And so the question is, what's the probability that both are red? Let's work that problem first. So I gotta record my information here before I... So there are five red, four blue, and seven green. So, so the question is, if I draw out two, what's the probability that they are both red? So how many ways to draw out two marbles? I'm going to get a denominator. And the total number of marbles is 16. 5 plus 4 plus 7, that's 16. So my denominator is 16 choose 2, or C, 16, 2. Now, the question is, what's the probability that both are red? How many ways to have them both red? So out of the five red ones, choose two of them. So C, 5, 2, over C, 16, 2. Now, the question was asked on the slide, there are two ways to draw a marble. One is to reach inside and grab the pair and then record the color. Here's another way. Reach inside, draw a marble out, look at it, record its color, put the marble back in, stir it around, reach in and grab a second one out. And now, what's the probability that they're both red? Are the answers the same? Does it matter? Yes. It does matter or doesn't matter? It does. Which one will be higher? Pardon? That will be higher? It will be lower. It will be lower. So if you really want to get two reds, ask, can we do it sequentially? <coughs> that improves your prospects slightly. Okay. Second example. We have two opaque jars. The, the jars are identical from the outside. But one has the 5, 4, 7 distribution. The other one has 6, 5, 4. So the jars are stirred up, so you don't know which one is which. You pick a jar at random, and then from that jar, you grab two marbles. What's the probability that they are both red? Six, five, four. Six, five, four, green. Okay, everybody got the problem? Okay. So now I have jar number one, and I have jar number two with different distributions, but I'm going to pick a jar at random. And I want to know what's the probability that I get both reds. All right, so half the time, I'm going to choose the first jar. So half times that. And then half the time, I'm going to choose the second jar. And if I choose the second jar, the calculation is similar. It just gives you a slightly different answer. Here, there are 15 marbles in the denominator. And in the numerator, it's C of 6, 2. 
Everybody see how that's done? Now, much more subtle questions are done reverse, which I'm not going to do this calculation. <laughs> but suppose you know the experiment. You're going to choose a jar at random. You're going to reach inside. You're going to pull out two marbles. And I tell you that the outcome was red, both red. Then I ask you, what's the probability that you actually chose the first jar? Those are, the, those are the kinds of questions that come up in probability that are slightly more subtle than the first pass.